on the wall ahead. Brilliant. One of the things that the, the young people tell me is that they love sport, they want an opportunity to do sport. But what they've said is that it's very difficult for them to have access to facilities. So I came together with a group of fellow Olympians. What we wanted to do was build a safe, comfortable environment where they could initially begin to learn the fundamentals in sport and take that confidence that they will have gained into another stage, which is coming to a running club. So we work with the schools where the kids already are. I got involved in the Diana Dolls Sport Foundation last year in school because when we did sports, they said there was someone coming famous. Myomi has always been very determined and very focused on what she wants to achieve. She's committed to the foundation and her pursuit of uh, becoming a better athlete. This sports. Moving from Africa and coming here, it was very, very difficult because education is totally different and she was really being bullied because of her height. Being in this Diane thing and doing all the training, she's really seeing what she can really do. Well, that's a learning process, isn't it? Diane scouted us at school. We went to Sports City to do the introduction of the sports thing and I got in. And I told my mom when I was like, oh my days, I got in. I and Diane are really close. Yeah, we talk about stuff. Yeah, left leg first. It's cool in a unique way. She's coming along to the running club. She's part of a group, a core group. We're all very focused. She's grown so much as a person as a result of being involved in the foundation. She's very confident now, even with the structure. She watches a lot of sports personalities and she's seen the type of structure they've all got. She's trying to eat very healthy. So, you know, it has really boosted her self-esteem. Our long-term vision for the foundation is to be working with 100 schools and 1,000 athletes across the UK. I think what we are really trying to do is produce or develop young people so that they can fulfill their full potential. So whether that's pulling on an England or GB vest or whether it's sitting around a boardroom in the years to come, becoming leaders, becoming mentors, becoming the next generation of coaches, that's what we would call success. Do you want to be successful in life? In life? hold the new world record in high jump and to be great as well.